Well, welcome to the FanDuel TV studios. I'm your host, Brittany Erton. And today, we're going to cover the fundamentals of horse race wagering, diving into the win bet, place bet, and the show bet. What they are, how you place them, and of course, how you win money doing it. So, let's start things off with the win bet. The win bet is the most popular wager, but not necessarily the easiest to cash in on. We'll cover that in a bit. In order to win a win bet, it's pretty straightforward. The horse you select must cross the finish line first. Seems easy enough, right? But before you can pick a winner, you need to first pick a winner. That's right, you need to select the horse you're going to place your wager on. There are a broad variety of factors betters weigh to make their selections, one of the more popular being the odds of the runners. Odds of the return you can expect to get if the horse you bet on is successful in winning the race. Odds are determined by the amount of money bet on the horse by all the public pooled together. The more that is bet on the horse, the shorter the odds and smaller the potential payout. This is why, in the case of the 2015 Breeders' Cup Classic Triple Crown winner and prohibitive favorite American Pharaoh, pay just $3.40 on a $2 win bet after winning the race. Now, a horse of a lifetime! But on the flip side, if you are able to pick out a horse that not many people know about and as a result aren't betting on the favorite, you found yourself what we call a long shot. In 1993, Longstar Kong went off at odds of 133 to 1 for the Breeders' Cup Classic, and after pulling off the upset, paid $269.20 on a $2 wager. He still holds the record for the largest payout in the history of the race. Here is our king to win it in an absolute shocker! Okay, so the next wager we will cover is the place bet. This is a bet on a horse to finish the race no worse than second, meaning if the horse you select either wins the race or comes in second, you will win your wager. The amount of money you can win is still determined by the odds of your selection, but specifically the amount of money that has been wagered on your selection to place, which is represented in the place pool. However, it is important to note that the place bet payoffs are lower than a win bet because the pool of money wagered is split between both the horse that wins and the horse that comes in second. So, the key remains to try and identify what we call value opportunities, Horses you feel have a better chance of winning than perhaps their odds indicate. This is how you cash in the biggest tickets. The last three fundamental horse racing wagers is the show bet. A show bet is universally considered the easiest bet to win in racing. If your selection finishes first, second, or third in the race, then you will win your wager. As expected, the payout for the show bet is the smallest of all those we've covered. It is smaller because all the three position finishers share the pool money. Finally, if you're not sure whether you want to bet on your selection to win, place, or show, but you're confident your horse will finish somewhere in the top three, you have the option to bet across the board my personal favorite. An across the board bet is the equivalent of placing separate bets on the same horse to win, place, and show. If your horse wins, you receive the win, place, and show payoffs. If your horse comes in second, you get just the place and show prices. And if your horse finishes third, you only cash your show bet. Now that we've covered the fundamentals of horse race wagering with the win, place, and show bet, you are ready to make some money. So thank you for joining us on Breeders' Cup Betting 101.